Morning, bud. Action. <laughs> Morning, bud. Guys, we're starting a new job today, and we don't have a name for it yet, but we're going to take you on a field trip to the Swain County Building Department. <laughs> you excited? I'm actually nervous. You are? I've never been to the building So department. we've got our plans and a bunch of other information. We're going to try to get the building permit now. Then we're going to directly go out and lay out the footings right now and start the project. Perfect. All right, let's go. You don't need so much. It's got a giant basement, though. It's going to be like 4,000 block. No, you're lying. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, now. Oh. We'll try the back cave entrance. Let's see if we can get in. No? Let's try the other one. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah. Now we're in. Now we're in. It's inspections. Hiring a licensed contractor. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? We are here to get a building permit. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> you've arrived at the right location. Okay, good. The desk setup is completely new, and I love it. Yeah, you look. Unless there was someone else already here, and then you'd just be standing in the hall. Yeah, there's so, not a big waiting room. So I'm gonna fill this out, and we got about four or five other pages. If you've never done this <laughs> before, <laughs> and you wanna do it for a new construction job, you're gonna need to know the property PIN number, which you can find uh, GIS, like the mapping department online for your county. Uh, you're also gonna need a Duke work order number. It may not be Duke power where you are, but that's basically a number that the, the building inspections can call and get your power hooked up. That's basically what they hold over your head is you can't get power hooked up till this thing passes inspection. Um, you're gonna need a septic approval number if you don't have a septic system installed, which we don't. They're installing it, so septic approval. You'll also need a 911 address in this case, we're getting that worked on because right now it's just a property number. It's like a lot number. It doesn't have a 911 address. So that's just a few of the things that a lot of people might walk in here and not know that you need to know and not be able to get your permit right away. Yeah, that's important because if you don't have those, then you're just wasting time. Yeah. Speaking of wasting time, <laughs> we've been here for 15 minutes. <laughs> Zero bit of information on the page. Zero. So I'm really going to do this now. I just didn't want the homeowner's info on it while I was showing the camera. Yeah, and I also get paid by the hour, so I don't really care. Right. What are these? Plans. What kind of plans? House plans. I know what you don't even say. <laughs> Why don't we ever have any house plans? They're all in here. They're in the phone and Dude, in my head. I've built like six houses with you, and I've never, <laughs> ever seen any of that's these. That's how good we are. We don't even need a stack of papers like that. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he thinks. <laughs> Here's something else. Uh, if you're going to disturb more than an acre of land here, you have to have a soil erosion plan, and that has to be approved. In our case, the lot's already done. It's all been there for 20 years. So we don't have to do that, but just know if you're gonna move a bunch of dirt, you're gonna have to fill out a whole bunch more papers and make sure you're not gonna have runoff that kills a bunch of trout or something. Cause hmm. then you'll go to jail. Wow. You will, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, yeah. So I did this one time for uh, a place that had some runoff and I had to sign my own social security number saying that I was personally liable, even though I was just the contractor, for anything that killed fish and, and beavers and whatever kind of wildlife <laughs> that I was gonna like pay the millions of dollars to fix it if I was the one that messed up. Wow. That was scary. That's pretty intense. Yeah. What are you, a doctor? What kind of signature is that? Okay, Dr. Perkins. <laughs> You guys been failing a bunch of stuff lately? Oh yeah, every day you'll have failures. And every day you'll have a couple that pass. And then there'll be some, you have to educate people on stuff to do. I mean, uh, a lot of people are like, well, I don't have a code book, so we'll make copies of the code book. That's and nice. And hand it to them. <laughs> I call you all the time. I just want the folks to realize that, like I just call and ask, yep. ask Jason a lot of questions. Yeah, it's heads And up. I have a code book, but sometimes it's faster to ask mm -hmm. The man. Yeah. Once a little bit's left of me. Yeah. yeah. All that's left to do now is pay the man and call for a portable toilet. You can't get your first inspection without a portable toilet on the job because they don't want people going to the bathroom in the woods. So they just make it mandatory <laughs> before first inspection, portable toilet on the job site. I got you, bro. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I got your We're purse. To go. I got your purse too, don't worry. <laughs> 
they've really simplified the process there. I filled out the permit and then the soil erosion sheet, but it used to be like five or six or seven or 10 other sheets, basically having to do with workman's comp and not burning your debris and stuff you should already know anyway, like if you have a business uh, doing construction, you should know you have to have workman's comp for your employees and stuff like that. So I'm glad they did away with all that other stuff because it's like, you're just signing stuff they're, they're not checking it, you're just signing it. So that made it a lot faster. We don't have a name for this project yet. Yeah. Like we had- I mean, we got plenty of time though, right? Building a house start to finish was the first start to finish thing. Yeah. Building the farmhouse. And then this was building the Nantahala retreat, the one we just did, question mark. So we got to the end of the day <laughs> to figure that out. Uh, it is a retirement home and okay. it's kind of small. It's affordable. It's kind of like a cabin in the woods, but we can't steal that RR builds guy. Uh, yeah. his name cabin in the woods. Can't steal that. We could FGI. Yeah. I want it. you know, SEO is important. So, I mean, the, the, what we title every video is going to matter. Building a shack in the woods. Yeah. So I don't think the High homeowner house. is going to like that one. He Who's doesn't, that? He doesn't even know where it is. <laughs> wonder who does all the legwork around here. <laughs> is that your brother? Yeah, well, he does all the real good construction work, though, so I can't say anything. Yeah, he does. Sorry, did I say that loud? <laughs> I thought that was my inside <laughs> voice. When I was a kid, that was my bus stop right there. That thing? Yeah, that's where I waited for the bus. Can you imagine telling your kids to wait on the bus in that thing? What would they say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't even ask them. They're living their best life. Wow. Just so you know, our delivery trucks and stuff are gonna have to turn right here. Because, in. yeah, I mean, we got a lot of room here, but from here, there's really nowhere to turn around except the site, which is gonna be, you know, covered in trucks and a house. Yeah. Kind of looks like you're gonna drive off a cliff right here. Doesn't yeah. it? This is it? This is it. Come on. <laughs> This is it. This is the whole site right here. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Should have bought a Ford. Looks like everything's okay. <laughs> How many times am I gonna to have to say that in these videos? Should have bought I don't a Ford know. I should have been. Before you buy one. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to save up some money. Maybe I will get a Ford. Mm. There you go. I have to do a little WD-40 for the start of the new job. I got some WD-40. It is a little squeaky. That ought to do. It's better already. You, you got a rag? No, I was hoping to use your shirt or something. <laughs> Here's our site, and let's tell you a few things about it. Number one, it has water. It's a community water system. The tanks way up here on the hill, so they should have lots of pressure because it's steep from there to here. Uh, this looks small, but the usable space is even smaller than what you would imagine because the front part over here is fill dirt, and the back part back here is pretty much solid rock. So I'm kind of worried about digging the footings with our small machine, whether it's gonna be able to do it or not, or it might just take forever. And we're gonna have a septic tank down here and we're gonna have underground power coming in on, on the driveway side. So we're gonna have all the utilities here pretty quick. We just gotta see if we can dig this thing. The house was actually designed to fit on the shape that we had here of usable ground. And that was kind of the framework we used to design the house because just any old house wouldn't fit here and have some corner that stuck way out off the edge or something crazy. So the house is designed to hopefully fit and we're gonna find out right now. There's a lizard and a crazy beetle. And I don't really want it. There's a bunch of crazy beetles and spiders. I don't wanna be the one to stick my hand down in there really. No. Dude. There's the other set off. What's <sighs> with the lunchbox? I insulates it, I guess. 
Let's do a brief rundown on this house. It's 1,700 square feet, has the master on the main level, and it's conventionally framed, meaning it's built out of studs like a regular house. There's a large covered deck and an open deck facing the view, along with an entry deck and an entry room with a closet. And upstairs, there's a second full bedroom with a closet, a balcony, and another full bath. This is all we really need today. It's our foundation plan, and it has the diagonals and the other measurements. And we're just gonna take that and See if it'll fit. And the more we pull back close to this, the less we're going to be in a mess. But let's go. Uh, let me ask you this: Do you need to be able to get a machine back here for anything, or can you go around the front? We don't necessarily need to be able to get a machine around here. It may not be possible. We can't turn this house directly at the view, or the back of the house would be here, and it would stick out like. 20 feet off the edge. Can't we just put down big pillars? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want this thing sliding off the mountain. I mean, that's the way it should be. Well, you see, you just can't do that because there's 40 feet of house that way. You have to build the house on the ground. Oh, <laughs> what a concept <laughs> that is. Yeah, I mean, so what if, if you did, pulled the back pin back this way? If we did this, the post would literally be 30 feet tall or more which is not, you can't buy a 30 foot long post and, <laughs> and stick it in the ground. We couldn't even stand that up. Uh, I think Jamie could just probably doll it together. Yeah, probably just weld one. Couple pro tips about mm -hmm. these long tapes. This has a loop and a hook. And if you do the loop, you're gonna add about an inch to the measurement. So that's more for rough estimating. And if you wanna get a real number, hook on that guy. Also, and I've screwed this up a lot of times, this has feet and inches on this side and feet and tenths of inches, like an engineer scale on this side. So if you flip back and forth and you're marking, you know, like uh, one foot four on the engineer's side, thinking that it's on the feet and inches side, <laughs> it's off. And so just that's, that's a note. Yeah. Note to self. Very important. All right, I'm at 50 right here. We're really doing our best to make sure that there's some room back here so that we can actually build the house. But the further we push it in on this corner, the more it's gonna actually tilt the whole house towards the view. So we're gonna have to pinch this one corner a little tighter than I'd love to, really. But we don't wanna push the whole thing that way because then parking, no parking. So it's really a balance. We got like exactly not enough space. <laughs> Once you start digging, it's yeah, that's it. permanent. Dude, I just had a brand new tape. This is not brand new. I'm, did you? I'm, I didn't. I tell dude. you. I will tell you right now. In the past, yes, I have stolen your tapes. <laughs> <laughs> not today. Did you? I didn't clip, take it today. Listen. Did you clip an old tape to the package? Oh yeah. You a did? couple weeks ago. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I told you I did that. Dude, no wonder. I didn't know that. I was like, oh sweet, I still got one brand new tape under the seat. <laughs> I pull it off the package, and I thought to myself, oh, that came off pretty easy today. That's weird. <laughs> What? I told you I did that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> new job, new tape measure. It was all coming together for me. I mean, that's... Oh, and that one's really used. What Look a at bust. That. That's almost brand what new. What a bust. Right this one's no junk. It's wore out. That's flea market new right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just see where that's pushing. 20. That's like solid rock. I know. So the question is, can we even dig a footing back yeah, here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just... Seven sixteenths and third day. That's the stuff right there. So it looks like the last one we did. They all kind of look, they're houses. They all look like houses. This is why you need plans. <laughs> this is a plan. We're at the building, and building department and there's all these plans, right. all these people. And have you ever seen a plan? Well, I, we just start digging. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's a waste of time. We've had plans our whole life for 20 something years. I'm done with plans. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah, 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 what he said. <laughs> Boom, just like that. It looks like it's way back there, but we're right at the edge of the of the fill right now. Did you tell them how you can tell it's fill? I, I don't know what way you're going to say right now. Well, it's pretty easy to tell. If you show up to a lot like this, mm -hmm. you've got solid ground. Basically, there's no vegetation where the solid ground is. Yeah, because it's Because there's way. no topsoil, there's no nothing. Yeah. You can see there's grass growing in the fill dirt because hmm. it's softer. 
Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. that's Back one here. way you could tell. One other thing we're noticing is that this site probably goes down a foot from here to the back of the house. So what we'll do is dig our footings based on the lowest elevation. We may have to scratch out some dirt from underneath where the house is gonna be. So we've had continuous two foot clear in the crawl space. And it doesn't really matter as much on the outside of the structure. But inside you gotta have that clear so that you can get in there and do mechanicals, um, not be putting joists right down in the dirt. This is, um, I'm no joke, this is stressful. I know. I, I bet people don't understand this. Like, the layout of this, like, once you do yeah. it, it's permanent. Once the house is built, yeah. there ain't no and there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of factors. Obviously, in most cases, you're not as concerned about the view mm -hmm. as you are here. Uh, and we're not going to be able to square up the house towards the biggest part of the view. Luckily, when you're standing anywhere in the house, you can just turn your head and look at the view, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know what it would take to build the house out here? Have you ever been to the An beach? Extra hundred thousand dollars. Have you ever been to the beach when they're building a new pier? You know, yeah. like in the water. Yeah. And they got these giant pile-on drivers. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you would have to do right here. Yeah, it's probably twenty feet of fill dirt right here we're standing on. It doesn't look like it. You can't build on that. No. No, you can't build on it. It'll settle in your house. It'll go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something about it, Jay. Yeah. I'll bet you once you take a scoop or two yeah, off the top. Like... Yeah. <laughs> and that's a really deceiving thing. Yeah, that's what I was just If thinking. you go probe the top after it's been sitting here 15 years. Yeah. And then it's not the same once you dig down. I've heard people say that after 15 years, fill dirt is considered to be natural soil again. But don't be fooled by that. I don't think it is. The top layer could have got compacted to trick you into thinking it's solid. <laughs> as soon as you dig through, through the two or three feet of somewhat compacted soil, I bet you'll hit super soft. Also, we don't know who dug the site and we don't know if there's any buried debris like tree stumps or trees. Stuff that's gonna rot later and... that Yeah, that'll continue to cause it to settle as the stuff rots. Don't worry, Jason's trying to figure it out right now. Here's what I think. We need to pull this whole thing about five feet this way and that'll give us five more feet for the parking area so you can actually turn around easier. Mm -hmm. Where that's gonna pinch us is right here. You're gonna basically just be able to walk through on this one spot you're not going to be wide enough to get even a big lawnmower through here. But, you but know, they don't have a big lawn. They don't have a lawn. So, I mean, the amount of times you're going to regret not having five more feet of parking is a lot more times you're going to regret that you can only just walk through here. Well, and you could walk along this wall if you wanted. They could build steps up and, and you got this whole space too. That's so. genius right there, yeah. Because like you said, I mean, our line's there, but you got another six feet of... Yeah, uh, the little uh, entry porch entry and all porch. that is going to be taking up too much parking. So we're gonna pull the whole thing, start over further this way. It really doesn't look like we've done anything. <laughs> Look out here. Out That's it. We're done with the house. Now we got to do all the piers for the deck, which is over here and over here and over here and underneath the house for the girders. There's gonna be some piers. We're gonna mark all of it so it's all done. Lot of stakes though. I mean, we it looks totally bucket. confusing. Like a hundred stakes. <laughs> Got bugs on you. Oh man. Oh look at that. There you go. Oh yeah, you get a very good shot of that. <laughs> look at him go, dude. Lined out some fields before. Sit. Huh. Huh. Loop forty-two. Black mark. Two foot what in. Hike. Two four. Two foot in.
Tailgate's up, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been trying to do that lately. Put the tailgate's up. Okay, tailgate up. Check. Secure. 